What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the EPL vs La Liga Season 1 Episode number 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the videos. It does help my channel out as and growing. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, or add me to your Google circle for updates on my channel. Now with that said guys, let's get into it. As you can see, we're going up against Real Madrid. This is the second leg. We did manage to beat them 4-1 in the first leg. We've Our game we very much dictated. And of course, we dominated too as well. So deservingly, we got the win. Now as you can see, they're playing a very, very strong squad. I guess you could say probably about the same as they did in the first leg. We are probably playing about the same as well so it should be for a pretty interesting game but the key thing is they're playing at home they're very good at home so it's definitely going to be a challenge for us and we're already and up for this challenge so we have a strong lead at the moment a lot of goals that we scored but we want to also try and get some away goals as well to try and kill the game off and that's what we're looking to do i also want to try and score as early as possible and we definitely be looking to try and at least get the early goals so we can open them up and have them try to counter uh you know try to attack more and not sit back too much defensively so with that said guys our goal is to try and hold the position up and uh, of course dictate the game and that's what we're looking to do so they're playing a 4-2-3-1 formation as you can see there uh d marie and christian ronaldo is probably going to be on the wings and of course Oz is probably going to be playing in behind Benzema we'll see as the lineup goes and of course yes that's correct uh, as you can see there and of course also uh, the man that's actually playing for Arsenal now in fact they're playing today uh, against Sutherland at the last time I checked the school I was 3-1 so uh, you know congrats to all the Arsenal fans but with that said guys we are playing a 4-2-3-1-2 as well and of course it's going to be Santi Cozalo and of course Walker on the wings and Rosicki riding behind uh, Podolski so it's meant for a pretty interesting game Santi Cozalo on the ball here passing to space if it just on the edge of the box he takes a shot off very, very bad shot, but maybe the defender here just put him off. Maybe that should have been a free kick. Nevertheless, Rosiski picks it up here in the 21st minute. Passing to Wilshere, back heel it to Santa Gonzalo, who hits it into the top four corner. And, of course, beating the keeper there in the 22nd minute, giving us the first goal of the game. This is very much outstanding. And one of the reasons why this is outstanding, guys, is the fact that it allows uh, us to definitely try and dictate the game a little bit now because you know what's going to happen. Real Madrid is definitely going to be looking to try and get back into the game. And, of course, that would be more package for us to definitely uh, try and capitalize on. Now, as you can see, they're trying pushing forward here. Uh, Christian Ronaldo on the ball is going to pass this one in, as you can see, for Ozil. We'll pass it back here, as you can see. But, of course, we blocked that one. And that's how we were playing. We were well organized and we were defending pretty well. So, a nice two pass there out on the wing here for Tio Walker, who was pushing for quite a bit in a lot of space and of course look at that just the outside of his boots into that top corner and of course that gives us the second quarter of the game in the 26 minute and we're just completely dominating at the moment now they push forward again as you can see here and look at this from Azul. nice chip pass over the top for Zabi Alonso and of course he puts someone wide that definitely should have been a goal but unfortunately for them it went wide so we are now leading six nil in aggregate and of course two nil away to Real Madrid, which is pretty interesting. They had three shots, none on target. We had four, three on target, 52% of the ball. Our shot accuracy was a 75, and our pass accuracy was at 90. So, dominated, I guess you could say. Dominance, definitely. And we want to continue that in the second half. So, Mikel Ateta on the ball here. Holds it up pretty well. Takes a shot off, trying to go near post. Thought that came off the post, but it did come off the keeper. But nothing came from that corner. No, Santi Cazala on the ball here. Chips this one over the top here into space here. And, of course, they would have blocked that one out. But look at that strike there from Wilshire. And what a save from the keeper. Now, from this corner, guys, we wanted, we wanted to put this into the box. But you can see they were marking us pretty well. So, I decided to lay this one off. Now, as you can see, Wilshire in the ball here is going to push forward. And make sure we try to hold the ball up as good as possible. And Mikel Arteta trying to get a shot off. And it was blocked. Maybe should have been a foul again there, but of course, the ref didn't call for it. We did bring on some players, as you can see there, but unfortunately, we weren't able to get any more goals, and we definitely took it very well. As you can see, to even go home to Real Madrid and manage to get a clean sheet is very, very good in itself. They had six shots, none on target. We had eight, five on target, 51% of the ball, 62 shot accuracy, and of course, an 88 pass accuracy. Our stats did go down a little bit, especially our shooting. But nevertheless, we dominated that game and deservedly, deservedly knocked them out. Now, we're going to go into the next game against Atletico Biabao. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. And, of course, I'm playing my favorite team, Manchester United. And we're playing a very strong squad too as well, the strongest we can feel at the moment. And even some strong players on the bench. Uh, we did manage to take the first one too as well, the same exact score as the one before, 4-1. So, we'll be looking to definitely try and capitalize on this one too as well. And uh, we definitely looking to knock them out. Uh, unfortunately, in the final, it seemed like we're going to be playing against a lot of English Premier team. And I guess at this point, guys, we're getting closer to the end of this series. And of course, in my opinion, I guess you could say that the English team seem to be a lot more equipped and stronger. 
uh, maybe probably should have something where I use both teams. I'm not quite sure. Both uh, teams from uh, different leagues. I'm not quite sure. But nevertheless, guys, they're playing a 4-3-3 formation. And of course, uh, the only person I'm interested in, I really know is Fernando Lorenet. I believe his name is pronounced. Um, I know him. He's a pretty good guy. Uh, but that's about all I know in that squad. So I can't say too much about that team. But of course, we are playing a 4-2-3-1 formation. And of course... It's definitely going to be Young and Nani on the wings. And, of course, Kagawa playing in behind Van Persie. And, of course, Anderson and Carrick in midfield. So, it should be for a pretty interesting game. A lot of pace going forward in those front four. And, of course, a lot of skills too as well. So, we're going to kick this one off, guys. And, as you can see, there's actually them pushing forward here. And, of course, we were able to take this one pretty easy in the ninth minute. And in the 15 minute, a nice over-the-top pass here from Kagawa into space here, as you can see, for Van Persie. Van Persie pushes forward. And, of course, he's holding the play up. You can see he's marked by two defenders. So, he has to try and create some more space. Pass this one in, as you can see for Kaka who takes a shot up but it was blocked and of course the keeper was able to take on pretty well nice ball here into space here for everyone on the wings he's going to cut this one back of course then he cuts into the box passes one into space and look at that strike there from Young and the keeper with a huge save there saving the one from going in nothing else happened in the first half we did have a couple more chances but just wasn't able to get anything in the goal the keeper was really good and they defended pretty well too as well but so we managed to keep the same score line and aggregate 4-1 you can see that they didn't have nothing on target we had 6-2 on target 52 percent of the ball and shot is very poor we look at our pass because you're at 90 percent so we were playing really good so we decided to go to ultra attack at this moment and of course look at this guys ultra attack and they automatically push forward and look at this some nice passes they push forward to a nice pass here andre era the guy that we were looking for this transfer window and didn't manage to sign and they were actually able to get a goal gomez as you can see and i was very frustrated with that one because we just switched formation and maybe that played into their hand not quite sure but young comes right back on the wing and of course look at that from a strike what a strike is that from young man outstanding coming cutting off the wing and of course uses weaker foot because i believe he is right footed uses weaker foot and finish that one to that four corner beating the keeper and look at the keeper nothing he could do he's in no man's land there and of course the push forward again is 56 65th minute and of course van Persie, a nice strike there and look at that from a save what a save there from the keeper again we push into space in the nine minutes of the game in the 88th minute you know what we like to do we like to keep it late and of course the keeper kicks this one out Again, they push forward. We're able to clear this one out. And look at that, guys. Some nice one two passes, some quick passes. Young puts it into space here. As you can see here for Van Persie, and he's going to cut this one back, beat the defender, and pretty much the same exact score line again as the, first, the last score line. 2 0. Well, not quite because we did concede a goal. But of course, it's an identical goal as the one that, of course, uh, actually young score so we're not gonna complain too much uh, two goals looking very similar but uh, I guess you can say they're different in their feet and uh, look at that uh, you know on his preferred feet he's able to put it on into the back of the net we did even go in and make a change and of course we weren't able to make that change to the last minute until we actually scored our goal because it was going so much back and forth back and forth it was a really entertaining game even though it was going to be finished as you can see there 2-1 so with that said we definitely uh, you know prevail on this day and we definitely dominated these games which is really good in our, in our feet and of course we had to defend the last game uh strike of the game as you can see of course and we were able to defend that one pretty well with them pushing forward and of course that's the end of the game so we take this one guys very convincingly on aggregate 6-2 uh didn't want to concede a goal but nevertheless we were playing away to them so it makes sense but anyway guys as you can see young was the man of the match he was definitely outstanding and of course we showed the stats too as well they didn't have not, nothing on target it was 50 50 they did part back in the second half but we had 11 shots on target or shot because it was very poor but pass because it was 87 so not too bad we definitely need to do better with our strikes but of course you can see we have Man City next we're going to be using so make sure you guys stay, stay tuned for that one and it's come to the end of the series so hopefully you guys stay tuned hopefully you enjoy this episode be sure to leave a like subscribe share the videos and this is a Borger English signing out peace